Oh yeah, that's a good shot right there. <laughs> oh sh we recording? <laughs> yeah, 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 he's still recording. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? This is Mustafa Level Hearthstone. Thank you for tuning in again. But if this is your first time checking out the channel, please think about hitting the like or subscribe button to be notified the next time we make videos like this. I promise you that something like this won't happen to you if you hit the like or subscribe button because I'm going to edit something like this in. So now you get to see that if you'd like the subscribe button or maybe it will if you don't. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Tune in again, guys. This is Mustafa Love again. Like I said, we're Hearthstone Media, and today I have a wonderful co creator with me, and this is Miss Sean C. Renee. <laughs> Bell. Oh, S H A U N T C I, guys. Oh, and don't see. forget the Renee. I am yes. your co host for today, owner and founder of Liquid Creations, here with my boy Mustafa, and we're about to get in some nice drink making and some great conversation. Yes, so we have preemptively gone on Instagram and some other social media platforms and got some questions from you guys on things that you would usually ask a bartender or want to ask a bartender. So we have two of the best. Well, I'm not going to toot my own horn. I'm going to say I have one of the best bartenders in the Atlanta area right here with me. So we're going to ask or she's going to ask the questions and we're going to answer some of them. If you have questions, because I know I'm streaming live right now, throw to some of those questions. I would love to answer some of them some things people might just want to ask me personally some things is things that you might want to ask your bartender and we're going to go over some of our most crazy weird annoying things that we've heard throughout time things that people have any questions us. any questions because um, if you think about it when you come to the bar you make the bartender your friend your therapist your boyfriend your girlfriend your sister your brother your everything we wear many maybe. hats Boyfriend and girlfriend, too, huh? I mean, you know. They be that. trying. You play. You play they that role. You know yes, it. they be trying. You know and it. we're going to be doing this while we made two fabulous cocktails that I or we have created. So we are going to be mixing with pomegranate today. So you're going to see just pomegranate. Real. Always use the real palm wonderful. If you're going to make pomegranate drinks, guys, you know, from a bartender's perspective, especially if you're creating drinks for, you know, private events or anything like that, use the real stuff. Don't be, don't be cheap. We're going to be using my favorite vodka of choice right now, which is Wheatley Vodka. I'm going to show the guys this one live. And a new liqueur that I have come across called Prickly Pear. This is some really good stuff. I shouldn't be like that. promoting it them like amazing. that. amazing. Because they haven't the cut a check yet. I mean... Mm. So, okay, we'll talk about that. Prick, yeah, prickly pear, get at me. Get at your boy. <laughs> and um, we're going to be using some mezcal for another cocktail and some elderflower liqueur. So we're going to be Smoky. making a smoked pomegranate margarita and a prickly pear pomegranate martini. So, first question, let's start mixing this cocktail. All right, we'll stop us. So... Go. Um, I'm just gonna ask. I'm not even gonna say who or the name. I'm yeah, just gonna I'm, ask. I'm putting nobody out there. I'm putting nobody out um, there. All right, we'll see. <laughs> there. Um, okay, I don't even know. I, I have three of these same questions. What's your favorite drink to make? They, oh, so they did come with the cliche question. Yeah. Are we waiting for them to get I guess we can get that one out of the way. Yeah, okay, so what's, what's so my favorite, favorite drink to make? So whenever someone comes to my bar and asks me what my favorite drink is to make, my favorite drink is always what your favorite drink is, and then I'm going to make it better. So I usually ask my guests, tell me what you usually like to drink, and then I promise you, guarantee you, I can make you a drink similar to that, but better. So that is how I approach what my favorite drink is to make, because my favorite drink to drink is something with pomegranate, because I love pomegranate juice. So my favorite drink is actually the pomegranate martini. And I have a pomegranate martini story. Maybe I'll tell you guys. My pomegranate martini story is really interesting, but I don't know if it's like funny enough for the video. <laughs> so, you know, next question. Yeah. And you're answering the next question. Okay, I'm answering the next. Um, I really want to piggyback off of your answer. Uh, I totally yes. agree with that. Like, no. We don't want to sit and try to figure. We 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 want you to tell us what you like, and we will deliver because you might not like what we like. Yes, I might not like pomegranate, you know. So it's just it's preference, all right, guys. All right, next question is: Do you know how to do tricks while making cocktails? They, somebody asked, "Do you know?" Yeah, Maybe they want to see you make do tricks while making cocktails. Well, that's so. I okay, so. 
I'll be honest. I mm -hmm. I did I did this little class for Flair, and um, I am super rusty. But I got a couple tricks, like cute little tricks that I could do. But um, I mean, yeah, I got the the basics. But I got this one little cute trick that I could probably do. But as far as like flipping and all that, no, I'm rusty as shit. What about you? Now, oh, I do can tricks I while. <laughs> making drinks yes but it all depends on where you work at because some yeah, places sure don't allow you to do tricks because they don't want you breaking stuff or whatever the case may be but in my my journeys of learning you know i've tried a lot of things of that nature and i've chipped paint off my walls i've broken furniture i've knocked things down i've broken glass i never broke a window or anything like that but i do have a couple of tricks and i do do some of them whilst making drinks That's but good. we're in like a combined space here <laughs> so i'm not going to be showing you some tricks but i will show you i guess i'll put i guess i'll put a clip right here i gotta remember because i'm used to just this space being empty so i'll be like yeah i'll put a clip right here so i'm gonna put a clip right in her face i'll put a clip right here here exactly that will show some of the tricks that i have done and maybe i'll create a couple of them uh, and i'm actually pulling questions from both of my pages liquid creations and lady creations and it's actually it's fun i'm excited right now and, you, and right now i am making this pomegranate martini that i mentioned preemptively oh what's the worst date oh my god what's the worst date i've ever witnessed oh. now i have told this question this this story a couple of times so i'm gonna Okay. Now, is this question for me or you? Because see, we you gotta remind me, you, you that me. you're by yourself. Okay. You're by yourself. Okay. So you want to go first? <laughs> do you do you do you got a good story? What's the worst date you've ever witnessed? Witness at the bar. Witness. Oh, give me a moment. Let All right. So I, I'll shoot then. I'll shoot. And I am adding the prickly pear to my martini. And when I actually do do this video, the the ingredients will be listed of how much, but it's going to be really hard for me to explain exactly what I'm doing with the drink right, and we're the talk. We're just talking and but work. This we're is definitely good. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're my bar this guest. Is what we yeah, do you're work. my bar guest, and we're just talking. So we're at work right now. I'm just making this drink and listening to all your problems and listen to you know how you think your husband is cheating or your wife is cheating. <laughs> And, you know, I'm just, I'm listening to you right now. And I'm trying to make you feel better about your life decisions and all that stuff like that. Because this is what we do. So now, for, as I pop and shake, for my, what was it? The worst, the worst date. The worst date you've ever witnessed. The worst date I've ever Okay. All right. So I'm going to tell the story real quick. And I'm going to stop shaking for a second. So, had a, a friend of, my coworker's sister came to my bar once with her I guess you could say it was somebody she thought was her boyfriend. They sat at the bar and they ordered some drinks. Oh wait, we gotta start it over because I'm just I'm actually gonna do it this way. Yeah. Oh, that. oh, what's the worst drink? So I got but I gotta be facing the camera. True, true, true. Okay. So you guys can listen in because this is the person that actually asked the question right here. So uh girl comes to my bar and I knew her loosely with her guy. Or you know, I, we're just gonna say for instance, or sake of argument, it was her guy. And they ordered a couple of martinis, right? And they ordered uh, grape martinis. Now, they, that was a drink they ordered. And he said he wasn't really that much of a drinker. So he was a little, you know, worried about when the drink's going to be too strong for him. I told him this is about the smoothest, easiest drink he could ever possibly drink would be the grape martini. So I made him a white grape martini. He drinks the drink. Now, mind you, I'm going to do this because you know me. And I'm not judging anybody, but I'm going to do this because you know me. So he takes his grape martini and he sips it. And he says, ooh, that burns. <laughs> That was a small indicator for me. Very interesting to see, but okay. She took it in stride. I took it in stride as well. I was working. I was doing my thing. Then she asked him, what was the late, like the latest movie you seen or the movie you wanted to go see? He named one movie, Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man 2 was coming out in theater. He said he wanted to go see Spider-Man. And the second movie he named was Sex in the City 2. What? What? Yeah. Okay. That was the reaction. And she said, what? Sex in the City 2? You you want to go see Sex in the City 2? <laughs> and he said, yeah, I want to go see Sex. Like, you know, it's like a big deal. They they, they premiere it down at, I guess it's like Atlanta Station or something like that. Right. And he was like, they be having like the paint cars. It's like a big deal. Like people get dressed up. And she was like, yeah, like women. I know women that get dressed up for that. So I was trying to not be part of that conversation. She called him out. Ugh. She called him out. So then she asked me, okay, now mind you, she brought this man there, ordered the drink for him and everything like that, introduced him and everything. So she asked me, she said, look, what do you think about a man say, saying he wants to go see Sex in the City too? I said, uh. She said, don't you think that's a little gay? She actually went all the way there. Don't you think that's a little gay? So I said, well, listen, 
I've watched Sex and the City before. Sex and the City is probably the most but ungay show ever. But would you want to go to the premiere? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sex and the City. <laughs> Sex and the City is the most ungay show ever. It's about four white women in the city fucking all the time. Excuse my language. Hey. But hey, me personally, I wouldn't say I would get glammed up <laughs> and get souped up to go watch the premiere of Sex and the City. Hey. But that's just me. Mm-hmm. So then the bill comes. And she says, it's going to be two checks. And I literally watch the like tears kind of like swell up in her eyes. Because I think in that moment, she really believed. And she probably was right. That the dude that she brought there that she thought was like her dude. Wasn't her dude. Was somebody else's. Was a little suspect. Yeah. um, And that that kind of. Not judging anybody. No, none whatsoever. But I mean. (laughs) There's nothing wrong with being like, you know, into like the chick flicks. Don't get me wrong, but like dressing up and literally like making it your business to be a part of the premiere. And that's I had to bow out of that one. But, but that was one of my worst date experiences. So now that's a note for me. I had finally, I found mine. I, re- I remember, I remember. Whenever you come hmm. back. I, I. All right. So I would say the worst. <laughs> this is weird. I wouldn't even say it was worse. It was just. It's just weird. Um, so I worked in the heart of Midtown, and we know what that means. Um, For those of you who don't know what that means, if you don't live in Atlanta. It's a lot of flamboyantness. Is that a word? Yeah, flamboyantness. It could be a word today. It's a lot of flamboyantness in uh, Midtown, and I worked at a nice, fancy, flamboyant restaurant. Um, so one night, you know, it's a, it's a busy night and the way that the bar is set up, it's like smack dab in the middle of the restaurant, which is actually my favorite. Cause you can see everything. That's like your favorite type of bar for me. Um, and a couple comes in and it's two women, two women, um, Caucasian women, short hair, beautiful women. Uh, and, um, I don't even know if I want to tell this story. You got to get yeah, You got to get it. Because I just know. I just thought about it. Mm-hmm. They might watch it. <laughs> so, what is one of the most aggravating things a bar guest does t- to you at your bar? Does to me at my As bar. As a bartender, oh. what is one of the most aggravating things that... To me, the most aggravating thing, I would say, and are we talking male or female, or just... Shoot from the hip. Which one? Go go first. I'm going to go both, honestly. Okay. I'm a, I'm, I can't just do one without the other. Okay. So, um, for me, the most annoying... I'm going to start with the men first, have to, right? Um, mm-hmm. The most annoying for me with a man is um, just trying to holler, honestly. Like, I am working. Like, I don't want your digits nor yeah, you anything other than what type of drink you want and the tip off of that. Honestly, I I cannot stand that. Like, I'm being too serious right now to want to have to play and talk and get to know you. No, not happening. Um, and another thing is you act as if you are about to tip and you're just this old big time ball and then you try me with like $2 on like a $20 drink. That is... Is very very shallow, guys. Um, as far as for the ladies, oh, I love my ladies. I love y'all. So please don't take this the wrong way. I promise you, I don't mean. I mean nothing but love. But I think the number one pet peeve for me is when I acknowledge you when you're with your man. I give you all all of my attention, and yet you still treat me like shit. And I understand that I'm a beautiful woman. I do. I know that. I'm so confident. I'm so confident in what I'm saying right now. Right. But if I'm talking to you eye to eye and I'm 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 attentive to you, not your man, you shouldn't treat me any type of way. I'm on your team, sis. I want you to win whatever that is in front of you. I don't want it. Trust me. But I mean, hey, I've had some instances where it's like women think I literally want their man. And it's like, no, I'm trying to figure out what he wants to drink. That's it. Or food. Because we are service too, right, Mustafa? I mean, yeah. we fucking double work, guys. I heard that. <laughs> we make drinks and we wait tables too. So it's not just a one-sided thing. So, yeah, I think that's for me. What about you? For me, it's simple. I don't care how cold it is outside. Don't sit at my bar and ask me for no fucking coffee. Because <laughs> I don't have... Anything at my bar relative to making you coffee. Not even an espresso. No, I don't have none of that. Well, so if you want coffee, go sit at a table. What's that? They have. Me? Listen, you <laughs> asked. They asked the question. What? So somebody wants to know. 
is one is two things: coffee and a non-alcoholic frozen beverage. If you thinking about coming to the bar and asking for a non-alcoholic frozen beverage, listen, I'm looking at every camera. If you're thinking about coming to the bar and asking for a non-alcoholic frozen beverage, pause. If you're thinking about coming to the bar asking for a non-alcoholic frozen beverage, pause. If you're thinking about coming to the bar asking for a non-alcoholic frozen beverage, pause. There it is. That worked out well. I didn't practice that either. Just I didn't practice that. I practiced this though. Um, how? Ooh, that's on fire. I never cut that. Oh, oh, and and ew. And we're gonna enjoy these martinis. Oh yeah, that's a good shot right there. <laughs> oh shit, we recording? <laughs> yeah, 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 we still recording. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, remember you can click my face here to subscribe or here to watch more videos. And I think we're gonna get it right this time.